crazy, beautiful, amazing new show called Banana Spiel, which should make you laugh right there. It's a comedy, but first and foremost, it's a fusion of all these different types of theater pieces. It has elements of theater in it. It has a lot of clowning, um, dance, um, some variety acts. Um, it has a beautiful story um, starring Annalie Ashford and Michael Longoria. It's a love story. It's something new for us. It's a theatrical presentation of humor, dance, uh, we, we say we inspire ourselves from vaudeville because it's comic inspiration. Don't be fooled by the vaudeville sound. I mean, it's definitely contemporary because Emmett, uh, my character, takes uh, is, is taking place here now, 2009, 2010, when we opened. I never wanted to do a nostalgic journey into the past. I wanted to move forward, step forward, and add elements of, of vaudeville, add elements of you know, theater and Cirque du Soleil and variety. and to create something which I hope is original. We now take you to the Lower East Side and into our exclusive ultra lounge, Club Splack. star of the nightclub and then um, the main character Emmett gets transported to a new world and they have a love story but in that new world it's kind of like Oz. It's like a whole other land and Katie does some special things that I can't share with you. It's a big surprise. She does something really fabulous and special. Well uh, I have a pretty big role in this show and uh, I'm having a lot of fun creating the role and uh, I write the numbers for all my friends as well. So I write the number and then I show him the part. False. And uh, he just reads the role, and we have the show. I play the lead clown, and this is my assistant. Actually, no, I'm the first assistant clown. I'm assistant number one. He is assistant number two. No, dude, you're not. I, I would be the lead clown. Look at your contract, dude. No, listen, That's not what it Jill. says. I That's had the first assistant says. number one. I will prove it to you. Jill, who's the assistant number one? Is it me? Who's the best? I'm the, I'm the lead number one. You know, it's something that I never thought I would ever do. Um, just because you never think. I, I, I'm going to run away with a circus one day, you know? Like, it's, it's a crazy thought. Put it up closer. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I play the main guy, and he plays my assistant. <laughs> what the? Shot, hey, dude. Daniel started that. So that was not me. Great dancing, great comedy. Uh, rude sometimes because those clowns are rude. But uh, we have to do with them, you know. We signed the contract already, so what can we do, you know? I apologize for him. I don't know what to say. <laughs> All right. It's amazing how physical comedy translates to a two-year-old to an 84-year-old. You know, when somebody falls, it's just funny. So it's good. it's right for everybody. It's really it's great. Oh, it's for everybody. You know, you you can come with your husband. You can come with your children. You can come with your grandchildren. They will laugh. First, we're playing the Chicago Theater uh, from November till January, and then we are here at the Beacon Theater. I mean. Are you kidding me? The people who have performed on this stage were performing every night from February to who knows when. It's so unlike anything Cirque has ever done. You know, there's an actual through storyline and they're using people from Broadway uh, to actually help them to tell that kind of story that New York uh, will be familiar with. It's vaudeville, it's Broadway, it's clowning, it's Cirque, it's everything combined into one. So it's, it's really, it's kind of a new art form. It's really exciting. 